The vertical chain drives present a constant problem. Here, H-78 drive chain at a sewage disposal plant in Washington is being tensioned by snap idle. Downtime from chain wear has been greatly reduced, and chain and sprocket life have both been enhanced. The plant manager has retrofitted the entire system with snap idle. Why? Because snap idle works efficiently and economically. At Woodcraft, a wood concern in Georgia, this drive had continual problems. With the installation of Snap Idle, the drive operates as it was intended. Snap Idle was installed in minutes, eliminating costly downtime related to traditional idling systems. At BC Packers in British Columbia, this drive system had presented continual maintenance problems. But let's let the maintenance supervisor tell his own story. We installed this snap idle here about five months ago, and uh, it took the place of this deer adjustable sprocket that you can see. And since we've installed this, we have had trouble free maintenance with it. We intend to install more throughout the plant. At Boise Cascade, this application shows how quickly and economically Snap Idle may be installed on a difficult drive system. By simply placing the upper and lower units on the chain, loosely tightening the system, and by removing excess strap material, a problem drive system is operating efficiently within a matter of minutes. Here, a number 200 snap idle is being installed between shifts. The installation of a traditional tensioning system would have required a major fabrication project and ensured hours of costly downtime. Snap idle not only drastically reduces these costs, but also increases drive life. I'm Hoover Gunter, the head mill right for Boise Cascade in Yakima. Wasn't in here. We have pretty fair, pretty good luck with the snap idlers, especially on the floor chains. We've before we've installed them. It's checked out okay. Customers expect distributors to bring solutions to their problems to them. Let's let two industrial suppliers give their opinion. G'day there. My name's Colin Pickworth. I'm the proprietor of Systematic Sawmill and Industrial Supplies here in Coffs Harbour, New South Wales, Australia. We are the importers and distributors of this wonderful product, the Snap Idle. We've been distributing now since September 1986, and we've had very good success. Many drives present problems to the customer. Often the customer just learns to live with the problem, since traditional solutions to the existing drive problem only create further expensive difficulties for the customer. One of Colin's customers had learned to live with a problem drive for a number of years until Snap Idle was introduced. Let's let the plant manager tell you himself. About six months ago, we first used a Snap Idle on a transmission chain. We were agreeably surprised with the results that we got, so much so that we ordered another seven. They've now been in operation for several months and we've had no trouble at all. We'd recommend them to anybody with a problem in tensioning transmission chains. These are great, mate. Hello, my name is Scotty McPherson. I'm the Executive Vice President of U.S. Bearings and Drives, headquartered out of Tacoma, Washington. I was asked to uh, talk a little bit uh, today about uh, some new product that we have taken on over the last six months called the Snap Idle. We have looked at and found that this product, while the concept has been around for a while, it is indeed a better mousetrap. One of Scotty's important customers, Manke Lumber, had a recurring problem with a series of number 160 chain drives. Instead of embarking on an extremely costly retrofit of the entire system, Snap Idle was selected as a possible solution. In a matter of minutes, Manke's problems with this series of chain drives were solved thanks to Snap Idle. After months of testing, Snap Idle showed little appreciable wear 
and the entire drive system was selected for fitting with snap idle. Decreased downtime, increased sprocket and chain life, decreased installation, replacement, and maintenance costs. All benefit, hard to ignore by any company operating in an extremely competitive environment. Snap Idle works for Mankey, it will work for you. As Scotty said, it's simply a better mousetrap. At Nally's Foods, chain tensioning is a constant maintenance problem. Because the drives see temperatures exceeding 400 degrees Fahrenheit, chains tend to elongate rapidly. But traditional idling systems are expensive to install, expensive to maintain, and create additional bearing headaches. Here, Snap Idle could show a tremendous cost benefit over the existing idling installation costs, decrease maintenance and greasing problems, and not require an entire crew for installation and adjustment. The SIHT Snap Idle operates in temperature ranges up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and does not require any lubrication or subsequent maintenance. Here again, the answer is a product that works effectively and efficiently. Snap Idle. Shown here is a screening conveyor for compost material at Soil Conditioners Incorporated. The SIXH Snap Idle has effectively tensioned the system for months, eliminating the one problem with the system. No matter what your tensioning problem may be, Snap Idle could be the solution you've been looking for. Where arm type systems are used, the SISG may be used in place of sprockets or on drives where the standard may not fit. The SNAP Guide offers a cost-effective solution. Here, a 3600 RPM motor utilizing the V-belt drive system is driving a vibrating conveyor. Belt and bearing lives are greatly reduced because of the extreme conditions facing the drive system. Most of us are not faced with this extreme problem, but it is a good example of a problem V-belt drive. Because of the drive's nature and the extreme center distances, no readily available solution to this drive's problem had been found. Until Snap Idle Belt Guide. This product, commercially available in mid-1987, solves most of the problems found on V-belt applications. In many instances, fixed center distances may be utilized, with the belt guide being used to take up the slack and to apply constant tension. Belt slippage will be virtually eliminated and maintenance costs dramatically reduced. Belt guide, another innovative concept brought to you by your distributor and MIC.